overtime loss last night for the Blues it means it's a quick turnaround for St. Louis. They are 5-4-1 and one this season in the second game of back-to-backs. Our opening face-off brought to you by Irvine Auto Center, and we're underway, and glad to have you along with us. Blues into the Anaheim zone. Here's Paul Duke, the rookie scores! Just 11 seconds in, snaps it by glove side, and St. Louis has a wonderful start. Well, that did not take long. A bull Duke kind of caught Lucas Stolstal. An immediate breakdown in the neutral zone by the Ducks, and you can see, uh, watch the defenseman. You can see Radko Gudis there. Got caught, cheating a little bit to the inside. The wing was open. There was no support there. The general vicinity of his goal. Pareko pinned to the boards by Nesterenko, and the puck pops free. Nesterenko gets it back from Silverberg, makes a pass to Lindstrom, and that was blocked by Perunovic, who lost his stick in the process. And the key to Nesterenko is going to get to the rebound. Has to score. I was about to say, Hazy, I think he might want to shoot that puck next time he gets in the middle of the ice. He did so there. This is just a perfect example of that. Looking for Lindstrom, yeah, right. He may want to shoot that puck, but. You know, the reaction afterwards is what's most important. He gets to the front of the net. Pareko can't find that loose puck in front of Bennington. Goes off the toe of Bennington. It's a big, fat rebound. And a great moment for Nikita Nesterenko. I know he's been explicitly instructed to look away, <laughs> but that's kind of hard to do, I, isn't it? Yeah, I was told to turn away. Uh-oh. There's a turnover just inside the blue line. Shen had trouble getting into the neutral zone, gains the zone. Thomas finds the trailer. Right down Main Street, and it's 2-1. Kessel, the defenseman coming late, has his first National Hockey League goal. Yeah, Matthew Kessel, last game. And he just joins the play, and the Ducks are slow getting back to help out. So oh, Zellwiger was caught on that play when the puck was mishandled entering the St. Louis zone. And whenever that happens and there's a turnover like that at the offensive blue line. Where it's a simple rebound off the goalie's pads and bang it's in the back of the net. Our face off to begin the second period brought to you by Irvine Auto Center and nearly a full complement on the power play for St. Louis with the fresh ice. Kalorn gives it to Zegris. Trevor into the St. Louis zone, caught by the back checking Sammy Blay, who gave him a, excuse me, Bolduc gave him a little cross check. It comes to Kalorn in front, and they score! He snuck it underneath Bennington, and Vetrano found it first. Oh, nice little play. This is all about pressure up ice, creates a turnover, and then getting pucks to the front of the net once again through the crease area. He tries to just slip it five hole. It gets in behind Bennington. Vetrano just touches it. And Bennington reaching back for it. Look at the reaction of the goaltender. He inadvertently swats it into the back of the net. So a little help from the goaltender Bennington. Blues 0 for 1 with the extra man as Krug drops it off for Jordan Cairo. Thomas transports into the zone. Cairo with it. Quickly to the point for Krug. Thomas curls off the wall, scores! Robert Thomas, a three-point night. It's 3-1 St. Louis. That is a sneaky, fast release from Robert Thomas when he releases this puck. I mean, this is a perfect shot. You're gonna see it about a foot and a half off of the ice, just over the pad just inside the post. Look at that shot. I mean, that, that's a half inch over top of the pad of Lucas Dostal. Strom drops it off. Zegers back to Strom behind the net, and Pareko takes it away. Colton Pareko leads NHL defenseman in takeaways entering tonight, and that sets up Kairou. Buchnevich with a gaping net. It's 4-2. Picked up the third man into the zone, but nobody picks up the fourth man into the zone, and he is wide open for the one time. I mean, this is a very patient play by the Blues. The Ducks are changing. See so, you how know, they kind of work it around. They get a 
lot of space in front of Lucas Dostal. The Ducks a little bit guilty of looking at the puck and not being aware of the passing options available. Down there, and there is a a lot of young talent in the Ducks pipeline. So, you know, for all of these players, it's an opportunity to make an impression. Zellweger at the line. Fakes the one-timer, gives it to Terry. Little two-man game continues between them. Final seconds of the penalty to Tucker. Terry into the slot. Lundestrom right to the side of it. And it's jammed home by Leo Carlson. That is an enormous goal. The power play on the board for the Ducks with just one second remaining in the penalty to Tyler Tucker. Pass that puck. I think it kind of went off the heel of his stick. But Leo Carlson hanging around the front of the net. Yeah, he was trying to shoot that on that. It goes off the heel of his stick. Great to Leo Carlson and the quick hands of Leo Carlson. He knows he has to elevate it to get over the pad of Bennington. And the Ducks are right back in this game. Kairou, bottom of the left circle. Trying to find a passing lane. It comes right back to him. Thomas gives it up. Drifts into that bumper position. Great save with the right pad by Dostal. And then Kairou gets into the far post for a tap in. Braden Shen, it's 5 3. Well, the Blues were moving that puck down to the goal line, finding the bumper position wide open. And Thomas with that first bid, puck comes across, and Braden Shen strong on his stick. Cam Fowler's trying to get back there. Can't prevent that pass from getting through to Shen, and it's a. Now this is Strom. Still diagonally dumped to the left corner. Vetrano on at first behind the net. Zegris converged upon back to Vetrano. Loose side of the net. Zegris scores. It popped out in front, and his backhander makes it 5-4. I beg your pardon. I believe it's it's Vetrano, his second of the game. It was Zegris that kept that puck alive behind the net. The goaltender Bennington. There's Zegers keeping it alive. Oh, you're right, one-handed, Hazy. Great play by Zegers to get that puck. And credit Frank for Toronto, didn't waste any time whatsoever. The backhanded shot, is, it's a tough shot for goaltenders to pick up the release, but. Carlson gives it right back, and Cam storms in. Drop pass to Kalorn, one more trailer. Carlson, score! Leo! to the well again high blocker on Bennington and this time it's all about speed good entry from Fowler and then Kalorn finds Carlson real smart comes in late gets into that soft area in the middle of the ice he, he saw Alexandra fall and that was the cue for Leo Carlson to slide into the middle of the ice Kalorn put it right on the tape and a beautiful finish Lead once more in the dying seconds. Puchnevich centers, saw it, tied up, and it's reeled in and covered by Dostal as the horn sounds. And we will go to overtime tonight in Anaheim. No, it's a great comeback by the Ducks. Zegras, Petrano, Fowler to begin overtime. Kairou, Thomas, and Pareko for the Blues who win the all important faceoff to begin overtime. Thomas draws it back in Pareko. 15 seconds left in overtime. The Blues possess through the middle. Pareko, and it's just out of his reach. Dostal will sweep it away. Two on one of the Ducks. Six seconds left. Terry shoots off of Bennington behind the net. It comes back to him, and he covers up. Face off to be taken by Strom. Setting up in the shooting hole is Vetrano. Fowler gets to it in the corner as the horn sounds, and we are not done yet at Honda Center. Will be the first Blues shooter. One of three on the year. He speeds in off right wing. Now slows down. And scores on the backhand. Try and get the goaltender to retreat. To mistime his retreat. Either be too aggressive or too deep. It works. If not, the Blues get the extra point. Terry swings in off the left side. Bennington, very aggressive. And he makes the save. The Blues get the extra point in the 
shootout. St. Louis wins it 6-5. Well, that's superb goaltending in the shootout from Jordan Bennington. He, he made three. He made two outstanding stops.